You are the chosen one. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chosen One Studios. Once again, I'm your hostess, Corinne, and this time we're doing, well, something a little bit different than usual. That's right, we're playing a Toho game. Not any Toho game, though. We're playing Ko Majo Densetsu Scarlet Symphony. This game is sort of based on, well, a similar ga named game from the normal Toho series, Toho 6, if I recall correctly, one of the earlier ones, if not the earliest one actually made for PC. Um, Romelia, who you just saw, has been redesigned to look much more toho esque or Tohovania, Castlevania-esque, as this game is essentially take Toho characters, dress them up like Reimu and Marisa there, and turn it into a Castlevania game. There's no options here, because they're all in different files. I already played through a eh, fair amount of the game in easy mode by accident, thinking I was playing in hard mo or normal mode, which is fairly hard. We do have 20 lives, but you'll only ever be seeing me die against a boss once tops. I don't even hope that'll happen. Because I'm actually pretty good at this game. Reimu, it's getting worse here. It's the same Scarlet Fog than one... It's the same Scarlet Fog than one of the Scarlet Devil Mansion. The vampire's probably behind that. This was actually translated by the same team that created it, so there is a little bit of English. Hmm? It's strange. Though I took away the way for the Scarlet Devil Mansion, it was totally different when I came last time. This forest, there is something. Happening, I assume. This is stage one. Remove basic controls. Well, first we're gonna kill that bird. Press down and jump, and you'll dash. Jump twice, and you can fly. You can fly however you want, but if you stay up in the air too long, bad things will come out. Up and attack, you throw a card. Normal attack, you throw out your whip. In the air, you can only attack with cards, which makes attacking from the air suck, unless you jump. If you fall from flying, you can't start up again until you actually hit the ground. So it's important to, you know, note that and jump accordingly. Your whip does actually reach further than it looks like it does, though, and most enemies can't take more than a hit. Bosses, of course, are more than the exception to this rule. But it's very important to note that you don't have to worry about the birds as much as you might say in Mega Mario. The game does keep very true to Castlevania that the enemies do feel weaker than you, and not just the birds. There are things like the Minotaurs, which anyone who's played Castlevania will hate. But, you know, nothing too bad. One thing to note, I'm partially doing this video because I want to do the sequel that recently came out, which stars a different Toho character. But I didn't want to just put up part two on my channel, as that felt, well, a little weird. So to correct that, we're doing part one first. It's a bit of a different game. I also wanted to do it to take the time to make a sort of a special video, where I would apologize that my updates have been infrequent, but to say that that might happen. Um, this isn't a job, I'm not partner or anything with YouTube. It'd be weird with my little subscriber base. I love you all, don't get me wrong. Um, but I just, uh, there's not a lot of you yet. So... Life's been a little bit stressful, and that means that this isn't exactly at the top of my list, priority-wise, this channel. But it's high. It is definitely high up there. It went from being a little bit of a hobby to something I really, really love doing. So don't think this is me saying I'm abandoning it or I'm pulling back. Just more admitting what's already happened a few times. There may be times when I just won't be able to get around to it, and I hope you'll all forgive me. But you might also notice that this music is very Castlevania. Not very East, but still very epic <laughs> careful about that. You can use cards, don't worry, you do get a lot of hearts in the game, so there's no reason to, like, avoid using them. They're just weaker and less efficient, so I'd rather avoid it. Sort of like how I avoid use I've always avoided using Master Weapons in Mega Man, even when I'm not doing any kind of special run, just because it doesn't feel efficient to use a power that's limited when you can use a power that's not, if you can use it as effectively. And Reimu's whip is definitely very effective. She wields it just as well as a Belmont wields their whips. And I don't think I need to tell you there's a reason that Dracula doesn't really like the Belmonts. Ugh. Ugh. I'm just not doing especially well right now. But I think that was the last screen before the boss. Crap! This is a hard game. It doesn't look it, and it's partially just because I'm sucking. I'm going to limit my amount of deaths, so this will not be a perfect run, obviously, as... Oh, as you can see. But thankfully, 
that death was pretty close to a respawn point, so to speak. And I was just showing there that you can fly up to the top of the screen, but honestly, I find it less helpful to the game in general. Um, there are times when it can be useful. God, I'm sick. But overall, I think it's better just to avoid it. So if you can actually destroy that, I think you can just, just attack it at nausea and it never actually dies. I'll have to double check on that sometime. Regardless, here we are, on to our first boss. Cherno! Waha! I will cryo-freeze you! For those who don't know, Cherno is known as being the strongest of the fairies. But that doesn't mean very much in this game. What is it, Cherno? Are you not frozen with terror? Not really, and you know... Maybe I shouldn't startle people like that? Where to begin? Never mind, we are short on time. Can you open us a path? No! I'm sure you built the change in the year, so we have to find out what's going on. You're right, but now that you mention it, this forest does feel a little strange. I know, so can we investigate this together? Going where? To this castle! You can join me! No, you will make fun of me again! I'm not making fun, because you're not funny. Ah, you did it again! I don't mind if you don't want to join, but let me pass. Sorry, but it's still no. Ha, give me a break. And Marisa appears, everyone's favorite witch. So there you are. Hey Marisa, seems you needed me. There was a note at the shop. Yeah, I wanted you to help me find the origin of this scarlet fog. You're right, this is a serious problem we have to fix. Ha, it's you, Cherno. Ha ha What, why are you laughing at me? It's nothing, but... Huh, she was still here? What do you mean by still here? Okay, you won. Whatever happens to you, I won't care anymore. Sorry, but this is... our words. You're both against me! That's unfair! Marisa, join your party. Use your partner attack by pressing the partner attack button. Cost five souls per attack. True now. Predictably, is a very weak first boss. If you're not being a moron like I just was. Trick with her, I find. Get very close. She'll shoot at these bullets. Wait for them to turn blue. And then, we'll run away from wherever you were. They'll dissipate. Ice has pitiful range, which helps you as much as it hurts her. Let's turn blue, start moving, and drop out of the way. This technique is a little bit long sometimes, but it will win. And if you have some energy, well, feel free to summon Marisa a few times. I like to lure her over to the sides, because that makes it, whoa, easier to have room to maneuver around. And take advantage of the fact that you can fly, because you can. And try to just try and hit her on the downswing. Of your jump. Or of falling from the way. Just be careful, as her ice does ha have a pitiful range, but that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt when it hits you. Just fought her in easy mode, thinking it was normal. Now she's actually challenging. I was wondering why she was so easy. I knew she was the first boss, but... Come on. You also notice I am playing with 20 lives. Which I admit is sort of cheesy, because it is a very high amount of lives. But even with 20 lives, that doesn't mean this game's very easy. And I still might have to restart a few times. Or continue a few times, rather. As the game is merciful enough to realize it's hard, and let you restart from the last level This game is unusually merciful for a Toho game that way, as it has unlimited continues, only limited lives, which I think is kind of cool. It still punishes you for dying without, well, making you suffer. My only complaints are that it's not a Metroidvania. Whoa! Wow. I love this music too. Oh. I did not deserve to not get hit by that. Only summon Marisa one more time, which is going to be very important to keep in mind. She always fires off th two or three, I lost track that time, before she does that. And that is the end of but do be careful not to get hit by the final blasts. Okay, let's go, Cherno. Whee! 
Wait! Tell me why I should go with you. Because you promised that if you lose, you would come with us. Hey, I never said that! What? Cherno, you want to break your promise? Huh? Break it? I want to break it. Huh? I should not break a promise. That's right. By the way, I think I did remember that promise. Yes, you did. So, I guess I have to come with you. Yeah, let's go together. If you're joining us, we'll be stronger. <laughs> I'm the strongest. Sure you are, Nightfall. Sure you are. She's a really a very impressionable girl. That's for sure. Turn to join your party. Press down button and burn it It still costs 10 souls, but it's more useful in some situations. And there we go. Let's see, I didn't get a no miss bonus because I did die on the level. Souls left over, time, yada yada yada. I'm not particularly caring about my score though. So here we are at stage two. Difficulty does ramp up. Whoa, right off the bat. Which is what, actually what I was trying to say. We get these vines here. Luckily the little sprout tips you off to their presence. Those, ow! Skull birds. You want to take them out with the frog still on them if you can. To avoid having to deal with the frog. Or just jump and avoid them. Once again, keep in mind you don't want to stay flying for too terribly long as it can make little red star things come after you, and that's bad. Okay, this part's kind of tricky, and you really do want to get to about here before you fall, so that for sure you get on the boat. Obviously, with the ability to fly, it's not a necessity to get through this stage, but it makes it nicer and easier, as it lines you up with the enemies a lot better. Think of it as being on a platform for taking out Medusa heads, which is what those birds are a lot like, except for they never turn into stone. Also, I recommend... It can be tricky to know exactly what below you is fallable. Float, right before you're about to hit the ground. Because that means, best case scenario, you just unfloat. Worst case scenario, you didn't just fall to your death. Boom. And that's just showing off. If you try and float from the very top of the screen, nothing good happens to you. Boom. <laughs> oh, show off some frog killing action. As Cherno, being an ice fairy, is said to be the nemesis of frogs. She shields out a small little blue thing, turns into a huge ice bolt. Ah. This is some food. So you can see all the food is Japanese, obviously, it's not chicken and such. But that makes sense, as it is, well, more Japanese style than Castlevania. I mean, still very much, you know, Castlevania's sort of Western mythos stuff. You don't see any, you know, Japanese jumping zombies or anything like that. Or jump jumping vampires. They really act more like zombies. I really think that was a mistranslation. Because they have something that's more like vampires. But, oh well. They're what the Weijin are in Vampire the Masquerade. But I digress. Those were some mermen, by the way, we already seen them earlier. This game also has super mermen, which fire their bolts faster and they're more damaging. And here is the gateway to the castle. We are almost inside of the Scarlet Devil Castle. And you'll notice we have a whole bunch more hearts this time. I think we're actually going to use Cherno for this battle. And we have to fight? Melee. Hehehe, <laughs> I was waiting for you. You were? I thought you would arrive earlier, but you were slower than I anticipated. Um... Well? Sorry, but... Were you? I'm the Hame. Hong Mei Ling? Hum, never heard that name. Hey, I'm the gatekeeper and gardener of the Scarlet Devil Mansion. You know, the one taking care of the garden? Ha! The Lazy Guardian? What a, with a boring name. Who is lazy with a boring name? You're right. This time you weren't lazy. It was such a hard time waiting for us. It was not the hard... Hey! So let's stop playing this game. Yes, we will pass right now. You can try. Your name is too complicated. If you lose, I'll make it easier to read. She is a much more pattern-based than Cherno, in that everything she does is a pattern, not just a usable couple of moves. Ah, I always forget how to dodge that the first couple of times she uses it. There she collects all these colors. They do have a terminal range, though.
She can trap you in a certain way, though. Good thing is she does, she summons those fairies on every pass. Give you some extra hearts every time. Explode, thank you. Sure enough. Once again, this is very pattern-based. And as you'll notice, I do like to play it safe against boss in this game. But it's with very good reason. Bosses in this game hurt. If you mess up at all, you're feeling it. I don't know why I always forget they come back. I actually managed to kill me, just barely. It'd be embarrassing since I was doing pretty good against her. Notice it does take away the amount of hearts that you used in the previous battle. So if you're unsure exactly how to take out a boss, don't use any attacks the first time, or any partner attacks or anything like that the first time, and you'll be much better off. As you can see, dashing towards her knives attacks, knife attack first is definitely the way to go. hit when they start to come back up. Out. The trick with this is all finding times when she's vulnerable. And where you'll have escape vectors. Note you can fly right through that fairy in a dash and it won't hurt you. Also notice that with the time of your whip, sometimes you can get off two attacks, sometimes you can't. Set, second set. That one. That one. Ah, crap. Be careful not to die after they're finishing you off, though. So we can go now? Huh, I'm sorry, my mistress. I will simplify your name. Oh, wait! Hey, you already did it! Ah, you like it? It's easy to read now. That's horrible. From now on, we're going to make sure nobody suspicious passes this point. But someone like that already passed before. Which means we have to hurry. Try not to be too lazy now. Just one thing. What? I'm sorry, but... What's your name again? You already forgot? The Mario just made it easy to read. That's it for level two. Here we start stage three. The first inside of the castle, Scarlet Devil Castle, where we do see a lot of familiar Castlevania faces. We also see, well, chandeliers. I forget if any of them actually fall, but I'm gonna be paranoid about them anyway. You also notice there's a ceiling. Makes flying a little bit less useful, but still plenty, don't get me wrong. fly off, they fly up, they're gone. But it's still good to get them if you can, because you get extra hearts. And not only for the score, but it's useful for about well, killing. Not everything has changed to the Toho, I've heard that's more so in the second game. But it's still more than enough for it to feel Toho being in There's so moe. Ow! Yep, there we go. Just messed up being paired up. Dash can get past that time. There's some old axe armors. Axe armors, anyway. Don't know if they call them, but be a little bit young for that. Also, later stages, you'll sometimes be able to guess who the boss is going to be based on the enemies. No, the enemy that's here is not going to be Flandre. Oh, goddess, if it was Flandre, I would not be playing this on the 
a bonus feature of this video, I'll only be playing through the special mode on easy, just because playing through the normal mode on normal, or the next bonus mode on normal, will make me go insane. It's essentially everything just stretched out in one long stage. It's amazingly fun, really. So we're all that. And I apologize, I am not the most... I've gotten most of my Toho from side games, so I may miss a joke here or there. I won't miss uh, things such as uh, Malice or uh, if you're going to get called Patchouli equivalent, but I will miss some jokes that they make possibly, just because I'm not as big of a Toho nut as some of my friends, um, or just as some of the net in general, so I apologize for that, but I still definitely love this game than good at it, as I think you'll agree. The outside levels are harder to me because of the open space. And this is more what I think of when I think of Castlevania. Not to say that doesn't mean that I won't be having any problems. As, well, obviously those will happen. Also, I'm so glad those aren't spear girls. Spear enemies are my least favorite enemies ever. As always, keep track of Raymu's exact attack range. Sometimes you'll get to kill something you really should not do. Or at least from the look of it, you should not do. Yeah! That was there. And then you don't fall. It's too much handily. Pot here really concerns me, especially when it's a healing one, which means I think we hit the boss. Very soon, anyway. Yeah. sort of obsessive about getting all of the chandeliers, um, all of the light sticks that I can, so I apologize for that if that bugs anybody. But so far, I'd have to say this has been definitely a fun little experience. It'll be a little bit longer than some of my normal recording sessions, I think. But I'm here to get into the second one, and I want to do the second one blind on this channel. I forget if I said that during this recording, since I had a test I had done. I'm gonna call it a, de a test. Um, but I do intend to do the sequel that stars a different tone of character. But I want to get this up on my channel first, because I don't like doing a sequel unless it's well, chronologically first. Like, for example, doing East Origins wouldn't have felt horrible before East wanted to. It's just not translated, and I decided that we're all people enjoy being able to understand what's happening in the game. So here's some more reset. Again, so is your flying ability. Do not forget you have it. It's very easy to forget because it feels entirely too forgiving of an ability for a total game to give you. Okay. Though don't get damaged if you can help it just for something simple like that. Please be an extra life at least. Aw, just hearts. I think there was some health in there, but... Those take on the opponent's role of red skeletons. The ones that don't die no matter how many times you hit them, except for in special games where you get a special ability to allow you to do so. This is not one of those games. As there are not really any special abilities besides different people joining your party, and I tested all of them, but none of them kill red skeletons. Sorry. That's fine, though. It's still a very fun game. Second heal in a level. Screams is gonna be boss. I forget who this is. Oh no, not quite boss yet. Ooh, that was very close. Some of these levels are a little bit long. Ow! But endurance is definitely something that can be challenging. Faced with things like these. So I can see why they did it that way. And at least they didn't put spikes on the way. And when they did, they gave you an ability to circumnavigate them. If you keep ducked while attacking the axe armors, you'll still get the high axes. So I recommend that. 
Oh yes, this boss fight. This is a fun one. What is it? Huh. What's going on here? You are... the maid of the Scarlet Devil Mansion. You entered here without permission. May I help you? Are you kidding? We know you're the one spreading the Scarlet Fog. What Remelia is doing here? What is Remelia doing here? Here? My mistress is just taking some rest in her room. What? And me, I'm cleaning the mansion. As usual. So you really want to play the innocent. I'm saying the truth. I'm sorry, but I don't remember having invited you. You... Well, I don't know about cleaning, but if you came here, it was not with the intention to let us pass? I can't consider you as our guest since you came here uninvited. I have to take out the uninvited trash. Okay, if it's about cleaning, I also have some work to do. And here we have Sayaka. Don't call her pads or this battle gets even harder. She likes to spam daggers. Which are easy enough to dodge. Ow. Once you've fought her a million times, as I have. As before, the farther away you are, the easier it will be to dodge some of those attacks. Ah, but yeah, there was no way I could have survived that. So here's my third run. You didn't see the second, but trust me, it was the third. I'm not gonna lie about that sort of thing. Plus, you can tell by the lives, the lives I have in my remaining. Most of her attacks are easy enough to dodge, if you know that they're coming. And I know that they're coming, so I have no excuse. Staying far away from her makes these easier, but sometimes not always. Just remember the times when you can get into multiple attacks, and when she's not technically attacking you. Get away from her when she does that, because that makes those much easier to dodge. It does make that harder to see exactly where it's coming from, though, which is less than a good thing. There we go! Troublesome guests. Ha! So you finally consider us as guests? It's an honor. I have no choice. We'll clear you the way. You try to escape? Escape? Here's the Scarlet Devil Castle! The place where Mistress Relivia, Remelia and me are living. Where do you want me to go? You'll be the one sneaking away. What? After this point, if you continue to gamble with your life, you will probably regret it. If that's what you want. Amelia is always... well, not Amelia. Sayaka is always a sweetheart. A lot of people really love her. As you see once again, no, no miss bonus, but... I got through the level. That's what matters to me. And here's stage four. With a much calmer theme to it. And anyone who knows anything about Toho... Should probably be able to guess what these suckers are going to lead to. Hint, dolls. Really? Shanghai, 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 Shanghai. Hore, 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 hore. Hore on. Come on. So look at Precious Thing on YouTube. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's actually quite amazing, though. Precious Thing will always pull up Toho-related things. Ow. Yeah, you can't defeat their magics. I don't know why I always think you can. Another thing of note, you can't kill those, but if you move over them, you can sometimes not trigger them. Which is smart if you can. Manage it. But I'm not always smart. Ow. I'm not being very smart in general this level. But, you know, part of that is casting this, because I'm a little bit nervous. Part of it also is just that I'm really not the best in the world at this game. I just really do enjoy it very much. I think that I'm doing a good enough job for it to be enjoyable. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, I suck. Watch me because I suck. 
frankly, I don't think you should watch anyone that can't play the game they're playing. Unless it's on purpose. Like, as in, they're doing it as a joke, and then they show you how good they can be. But just personal opinion. If anything, anything's good if you enjoy it. But, you know, your mileage may vary. Whenever you have a lot of room to fly up, because you might find a secret treasure. But always be careful, because you have a chance of running into something like that. I don't think I'll be editing out my stage deaths, since the majority of them will happen the near the beginning of one section. At least I won't be editing them unless they're really dramatically bad. Like, you won't ever see me go through a whole section whoa, of stage twice, I promise. And there's health. Generally, you'll find health either just before, or you're about to, to die, just after you've died, or regardless of a place that's wanted it. Whoa, crap, those, those faces are scary. You can kill those, however, and they do net you quite a bit of health. Also, those platforms disintegrate. Good to keep in mind. I love the calm, but, like, still freaky nature of this song. All Toho music is always great in Toho Mania, or Komajo Densetsu Scarlet Symphony. It is no different. And I apologize if that accent is offensive. I'm sort of trying to be silly. Also, as before, just since this is a video of a game that well, did come from Japan, I know that most of the games I've played, in fact, so far all the games I've played, besides um, Fallout 3 have come from Japan, uh, I just want to express my extremist sympathy. sympathy. I, I've been through a natural disaster myself, and I can only imagine. Ah, Spear Girls. Um, what Japan's going through right now. Just, really. You guys don't deserve that crap. If anyone can, it's the Japanese. I mean, really. They're survivors. So, we ran along. This stage is one that does ramp the creep level up, if only because of those floating heads. It's getting her careful, and avoid having too many of them on me. Oh, just be careful of those stupid partisan girls. That. I generally don't like to leave enemies alive, but sometimes it's just not worth the risk. As well, you can one-hit most enemies. They still do quite a bit of damage. Good thing is your hits do wow. Slow them. Let's get a little bit of healing. comics, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't know exactly what they're called. I know they're a thing. I apologize. I know I'm gonna get, like, 20 comments from it if I get anybody who loves Toho commenting saying, they're blank! And, like, I know that what they are, essentially. I've read some of those comics that have been translated, but I don't remember exactly what their name is. I apologize. Uh, man, that was really egotistical. I don't think I'm gonna get, like, 20 comments on this video. Like, you know, just being realistic. But theoretically, if I did, I would not blame anybody who said, you know they're really blank, right? Like, you can call them by their name. I do have Toho Wiki up on my other monitor, so it's kind of lazy that I don't double check, but... Moving on. Why do I always end up in boss rooms with, like, no health? Oh well. So, moving on. This is... a doll. A doll, so it must be... Alice! Hooray! I knew it was you, Alice. For some reason, I started to feel nervous. I started to feel angry, too. Wow, we were on good terms. We are not! Oh, Tundere. So, can you tell me what you were doing here? I'm not asking. What are you doing here? Huh, I just came to have some fun. Fun? Yeah, Amelia asked me to come play. You're lying. Everybody knows you have no friends. What a meanie butt. I mean, really? I'm not lying. 
Okay, so can you just take your puppet and go away? So stop making a fool of me! Marisa, there's no reason to fan the flames. It's okay, I was already angry, but that thing in addition... That thing? You called me a thing? Yes, that's what I said. You! Oh, wanna fight? Hee <laughs> hee, finally something I can freeze? Uh... It's actually really good advice. Because she does a good amount of damage, and she's very useful against her main attack. That. A little doll raid, as I like to call it. But I didn't have any help. So here's my third shot. I remembered some very important things, such as some of the patterns of some of her doll's attacks, which is very important. One of the things, though, is she likes to stand still a lot, which she can take advantage of. Such as this attack. This attack relies entirely on those red dolls. Not on her at all. But she stays still during it. Depending on where she lands, that can make this fight extraordinarily easy. Sorry, Alice, I love you to death, but your boss fight is not as hard as it has to be. Wah! You lose. It's unfair! It was an unbalanced fight! But you also used your dolls. In that case, it was unfair. In the case it was unfair, we are sorry. You really deserve better than you get. But, there we go! Did lose some lives. Had some souls left over, though. That's something, right? Pretend it is for my sake, please. What is this place? This is an arena. After what we saw, you'd be surprised. So, this boss is maybe not, not as guessable to me, but I know a fair amount of people have guessed it. This level, however, is one of the longer ones. It stretches just a little bit past its welcome. Also, if you're careful about those, you can essentially make them fall in a way that will never emerge. Also, keep in mind, your whip can destroy those bones. It just goes loud. Regardless, be careful of those, since they do do significant amount of damage. I never got hit on those when I first played them. It's really embarrassing to get hit on them. Come on, come on. Good. And now I'm just sort of being clumsy on purpose, almost. But, moving on to the second section. I love the theme for this level, though, so I really don't care if it stretches on a little bit of past as well. Which I believe it does. If it doesn't, then I'll apologize in advance. Who I'm apologizing to exactly? We'll have to wait and see what the boss of the arena is. I'm actually starting to improve. As you can see, we've started to hit some of the more normal enemies that do take multiple hits, that aren't totally... That's fine, because they're not... There's still more than enough enemies that feel like they're free. But they didn't do the annoying thing of, here's a thousand paper enemies on the screen, which a lot of Toho fan games do. Cough, Mega Mario. Sorry, just kind of bugged me, because that wasn't very Mega Man like town enemies on the screen. It's very tough to like them. Oh, crap. Those things do a lot of damage very fast. That's why they give you the food right there, because they know you just got hit by one. And we're just as with a liar. Hello. Nothing really fancy to see. Ah, oh, crap. I even tried to dodge it. And failed miserably. I didn't manage to do a backflip with her, but I can't get her to do it again. Oh well. I also like the style of where it closes the door behind you. There's no reason you would want to go backwards, but it makes your choice very obvious. Backwards is no longer an option. You have to continue. Which is kind of corny in a way, but... Well, I like corn. 
even though I admit I feel betrayed in you know, my life that I thought I was a vegetable. I mean, you know, biologically a vegetable, but nutrition. It's a grain. It makes me very sad. Or a starch, or whatever. Once again, that was one of those cases where if you zoom in really close, the whip didn't hit, but it still hurt. Because it's a holy weapon. Also notice I was sort of being cheap in this section. That's because if I wasn't, they would be. Stairs are, as always, nasty places of gasoline fights. Ooh, here's Marvel's. And you'll notice they give quite a bit of hearts, so don't feel bad using a couple turnos on them. That's what I prefer. Partisan girl. Partisan girl hates Rainbow Girl. Okay, I don't even really like that song. Why do I make that reference? Oh god, I almost didn't get hit by it. Too. That's right, dash past me. So I believe falling there is another big Ah. Damn it. Once again, enjoy my hatred of anything spear building. Thankfully, another checkpoint. Yeah. And another world man. Come here. I will admit how cheap that is. Look at the other here. What do we got? If I'm cheap, I have any problem with the kind of you still lose. Well, that makes it sound really good. But not cheap in multiplayer, to say it right though. And I, I can't be like if I just want to show somebody, hey, could you shut up and stop bragging? But otherwise, I swear, I'm not like that in multiplayer games. It's just against the cheating AI. Maybe a couple of them As you can see, they do do a lot of damage. They do perform a lot of damage. That sounds less wrong. So we're going to be introduced to an old favorite enemy of anyone who's played any Castlevania. I recommend avoiding them. They have too much health, they ram you back entirely too far, and you're always given away to avoid them, so... Ah, oh, there was chicken up there. Oh well. Oh, probably just ended up dying on Bruce. As we are nearing the boss, but we're not really quite there. I don't think this is the last screen. But I don't believe there's another chicken. Oh well. But now I'm armed with much more health. Pretty warning that there's a bunch of guys first there. They are very killable. I've already lost eight lives, though. This game only gets harder. But we're definitely making progress. There's not that many levels in this game. Yeah, this is the one that drags on. But the music is so good. Cool. The only problem is that it's essentially been staircases the entire time. Which is a little bit meh. But I can deal with it. Ah, because this song. If the song wasn't so good, I would hate it for the passion. And if the boss kills me too many times, I will still hate it for the passion. But thankfully, I'm pretty sure I learned how to take the boss on. After dying a lot. My initial playthrough. Keep it in mind. First to admit, I am totally cheating these guys. They wouldn't give you that attack if you didn't need to use it. Or if they didn't expect you to use it, if they didn't want you to use it. Is this? Oh god. I mean, you can dash underneath them. Oh, 
Perhaps it's skillful. 